Hey Stampers, it's Gainer again. I've been having a look and a play, and you know me and colouring, oh, with this beautiful stamp set. It's called Peaceful Place. Look at that image, it's just gorgeous. Isn't it just absolutely wonderful? I've got my card pieces ready. I will show you those in a, um, there. I have got my watercolour pencils, which I used. But also, I was gifted these by a lady from America. Uh, I've got another pack somewhere as well. And she sent me these. These are absolutely amazing, amazing pencils. Just like our stamping up ones. So I used some colours out of there as well. I'm going to show you my card. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? It's your day. And these are done with the watercolour pencils. I've used a little bit of washi tape that was in the old set just before it retired in June. I've popped up three rhinestones down the side and I've got a piece of design series paper from Nature's Poem. Just added, rounded off the corners and added these images of the leaves inside and I think it just made this card absolutely pop and it's beautiful so I'm going to pop that one to side I'm using crumb cake um, which is absolutely just perfect I think for this use my trimmer just to fold in half once I get my crease then it just gives me perfect edges every time and it never seems to fail well, if I can find my bone folder. <laughs> and I know you all say you love watching me colour and chin wag and I love it. It's just beautiful. So I've got two pieces of card. I'm going to be trimming one down because this is going to be cut down to three and a half by five. I have one for the inside, which is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. I've got a piece of designer series paper which is six by one and three quarters and I'm just going to glue that to the end and we're going to trim off the excess. It's easier to trim off than it is to add so we can do that now. So I'm going to basically glue oh, it's coming to its end actually so it's lasted quite well this one. I had one a, a couple of times back and that did exactly the same lasted for ages even though it felt empty <laughs> they keep going and going and going this is why I love the Tombow so much so I'm going to open this up I don't want to be I know my edges are perfect but I don't want to take any chances I'm just going to glue that right along that edge and I've just got that wiggle space and I can't see any there, but just that tiny, tiny little piece there. Always trim from the back, and that's all, the only bit of waste you've got, really. And that's why I've done that on here, it's just to break up. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous papers from the Nature's Poem stamp set. <coughs> oh, sorry. I have this other piece of Whisper White, which is... 5 eighths by 3 for the sentiment. So I'm going to leave those in there. Get my image. Just pop my leaf back on. Put the lid on my glue for a moment. And I'm going to fetch my memento ink to the ink pad because it's a large stamp and it's on a large block. Now I've got ink on my fingers. And I'm going to ink this up as well as I can. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to try and keep it more towards this bottom section. We are going to trim this paper down after we finish colouring. So, I've got a little bump there for some reason in my, uh, and it tends to allow me to get that ink. Look at that. 
absolutely gorgeous. Love it. So I'm going to clean my block as we go. Sorry if it was shaking, I do apologise. There we go. My OCD allows me to just carry on doing stuff like that. I leave my ink there for my sentiment. Oh, in fact, no, we've got it out. I'll do it quickly. And it says, it's your day. I love that. This could be sent then for any occasion. Could be because he passed the driving test. Could be for a birthday. It's entirely up to you. And I'm putting my sentiment more towards this end because I want to flag the end. Just a tiny little flag. And I can, I'm ready to uh, pop those away later. I'm going to grab my scissors. And I, I'm just keeping it narrow. The, f the flag is going to be just a quite little dimple in. See what I mean about the little tiny flag in at the end there? And I'm going to put a dimension on, on the end because that's going to sit just off my cardstock. Well, I want to zoom in now. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. Oh, oh! I've done it. How's that? I've got, I've got to keep it in focus now. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't look at the nails. So, like I say, I was gifted these beautiful pencils. And I'm going to use when I can get into them. Oops, I've opened up the wrong end, that's why I can't get into them. I'm using the brown, the green, the blue, and a tinge of this yellow. It looks green, but it's not. It's it basically, let me see if, I can, if you can see it on my card. Uh, let me fetch this in. See it just here? I just used the pencil on the side and gradually moved it down, and then the blue as well, just to give that off-white a little bit more balance, if you know what I mean. Isn't that beautiful? Love it! So, and I used my Bermuda Bay out of here. I suppose I could have used my brown as well. But, um, yeah, well, I'm going to show you what I did with the yellow. I've kept the, I'm just basically skimming over just the background and I can see it, it's barely going on but it's just to give you're not going to see this side much but I, it's, it's better to the naked eye I suppose because I can see what it's doing to my card and I know, look, the, day, the light is shining through my window and it's, oh, let me see if I can rectify that that's better. You've just got this tinge of yellow, if you can spot that all over. And I don't want to press, I'm just resting my pencil lightly. And I'm going to do the same with the blue. I'm just going to basically just waft it back and forth. See that? Yeah, you can. I can see it now. As gentle as it is, because let me just show you on a piece of scrap. If I was to, if I was to do that any harder, it would be that colour. So I'm just lightly doing it, so it's subtle. Oh, now I've gonna got some streaky sky. It doesn't matter, I suppose it all adds. And what I did then, I got my finger and smooshed it in. So it's just for the background really, just to take off 
so there's not so much white and just blend it in now I'm going to start with my oh I use my old olive I start with this beautiful green and what I did I just tapped as if it was doing the bristles on the tree the bristles the branches and I'm just gonna follow those tiny little lines I am no artist not a chance but I can copy and that's what I'm doing I'm just copying these lines in the shape of the fir tree itself. You see it coming on? The light in here is terrible because it's so bright outside. And it's getting dark at the bottoms of the trees. Just pulling away uh, in as if the branches were coming from the tips into the center of the tree. And pulling the color in. Once you've done the basic outline. Then you can start deepening the colours or smooching them a little bit. You've got to forget you've got two trees here, one behind each other, so you've got to do it to the branches on both. So I can just see, where's the brown? There's a little central line there and I'm literally just going like that. Which should be pulled into the like the colours in a moment when we get another different shade of green on here because I'm going to be using two lots of green I mean you don't even have to colour it in I just thought it was it's, it reminds me of the Mediterranean moment so now I'm going to go with my old olive and it's on the side if you notice I'm not digging into this one I'm just adding a different shade into this tree. I'm filling in the gaps basically and toning them down a little bit. And I'm going to just pull in the colours. Are we having shots still? Same with these, I'm just going, just adding extra colour. <coughs> oh, I do apologise. <coughs> and with my old olive, I'm just going to follow the bank. Now we've come to a different, now I'm pushing quite hard on here. Just to, this is, this is going to be where the embankment is. So it's going to be brown and muddy. Do that in a minute. And I'm going over the tufts. And this embankment here, because this is the side of where it's fallen into the river, sort of thing. And just following my lines. quick really, it's quite therapeutic as well and it's literally dots here um, over the edge and then what we're going to do in a minute is we're going to take our pencil on that on the side and just have a paler tone You've got to come in between these trees. And 
one on this side. So that you follow the embankment round. <coughs> Excuse me. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm gonna grab I'm gonna go over this embankment slightly. I'm gonna go round the edge of this bit of the at the embankment there. This is all bushes from the and the overgrow of the grass. And she's just leaning over the embankment. You can't go wrong, you're just following those lines. Just jagged little movements to give us like a spiked effect. Just beautiful. And again, tiny little go over the embankment. You've got a branch that is sticking. I'll show you on the stamp set. You've got a branch that is like sticking out on the embankment here. And bits of wood are dragged into the water and poking out. Just wonderful. So I'm using my pencil again on the side. And I'm going to be doing that again in a minute with so now's my brown lightly and um, just going over that embankment and it's coming around here and then you can just this is the branch that's sticking out of the water this is the one that's sticking off the side of the embankment and I'm just darkening it slightly but when we do the water scene so that's that branch and this is another one you can barely see it but it's just absolutely wonderful if I show you now the the water and I'm just with the blue going lightly I'm not pushing hard because this is really a deep color and I'm just going over these swirls and round the sides of the rocks pulling in the colour you see that how pretty that is Unless I come right up, let me see. Can you see that with the blue? It looks so much better in real life, trust me. And then I'm using the side of the pencil to follow the river line. Oh, I love it. I love this one better this time round. Oh, gosh. So with the brown, I'm just lightly going around these boulders and adding a bit of darkness to wherever the stamp is dark. Just following the colour and those lines. And then I'm going to take the edge of the pencil Pull it all together. Oh my gosh, you want to see this in real life? It's so nice. Now I do feel like an artist. <laughs> so we just got the big tree left. So I'm going to go, I'm going to firstly follow all these branches. And I'm not pressing heavy. I don't want a really dark tree. It's, um, I would say it was like the start of, I don't know, what season would you say this was? Start of summer, hazy days. So you don't want brightness. Just follow those branches up whenever you see a branch. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you can see that. 
just gorgeous love it right I'm going back in with this green now uh, and we're going to two-tone this one as well I'm just going over the darker tips with this green I'm basically just following the pattern that's on there Oh, I love this, it's so therapeutic. Therapeutic, should I say? I'm trying not to fill too much. I just want the outline of this green. Because we've got two tone on the ground, we've got. Um, I don't want too much, I don't want it too heavy in this tree, but I want it to stand out. So I'm basically just going around the outside. Inside where the branches are. Oh, it's soon coming together, mind. I wish you could always fast forward and come back when I've finished. I can't fast forward yet. I haven't got my remote control yet. And he wants to. I like colouring with you all. I'm just following my lines. It. I'm going to come in with the other shade now, which is my old olive, just on the side with the pencil again. I'm going to start to fill in the centres of this, these branches. Because you're going to get shaded areas. Depending on which way the sun is lying in the sky. And I'm just pulling that in. Like a work of art, isn't it? This stamp set is absolutely stunning. I'm just doing circular motions. Nothing arty about this whatsoever because it's just not me at all. Can I use a little bit of Bermuda Bay as well? Give it some deeper tones. That is absolutely gorgeous. Going over the water this time with this as well to give it like a, a bluey greeny colour. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? That is my colouring skills <laughs> with pencils. You can spend hours doing these, it's entirely up to you. I think that is perfect enough for a card for somebody. Pop my pencils away. Thank you, Teresa, for them, my darling. Right, I'm going to zoom back out now if I can. I don't know which way the button is, but... I can't even find the button. There we go, we're back out. Yay! Whew! I hope you enjoyed me watch me do that a little bit up close, but that's the tone of the water then, and them beautiful trees. Stunning. So, I'm going to come in with my... Tim Holtz again and I'm going to chop this down to three and a half 
by five. Love this trimmer. And I'm going to fetch in my card pieces. Whoops. Snack. And this is going to go on here now. It's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I used my foam tape again for this. I found this in a drawer. It's, it's like you get two or three rolls. Quite large, but this is really thick, so it doesn't last five minutes. Uh, I had this in the pound shop, I think. It's very thick, though. It gives you that height off the page. It's thick, way thicker than a dimensional. Must be at least two thicknesses. Smooth that down. Oops. I think I've had it in the drawer for the past. I think I've had it in the drawer since I started crafting about two and a half years ago. Gosh, has it been that long? I know I'm going through phases and buy all the stuff. Make two cards and then give up. <laughs> but not this time. I've been smitten and bitten, as you say, by the bug. So, I'm going to lay this. I'm going to try and get it square on. I'm just going straight top and bottom. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to add a dimension. I don't think I have to actually. No, I'm not going to do it this time. I had a bit more space on this side for some reason. I'm just not going to glue that end. Because so if it accidentally does get squashed down, then it won't. It will stick. So I'm just making sure. I'm going to push that up, making sure that's straight. Does that look straight? Yay! And like I'm saying, that washi tape, which was from the last catalogue in the basic packs, they were like blues, greens, pinks, and the black and white. I think the black and white carried over. But I'm not going to waste. I'm going to overhang as well. You know what my motto is? If you've got it, use it. So I'm going to overhang this one as well, just so I can line my, get it perfectly straight. I know we should have done this beforehand, but never mind. And then I'm going to, just going to trim that off. stuck to my finger it doesn't want to come off. So now that I know that's right along the edge pop my glue away. Oh I'm gonna come in with my rounder and I'm gonna round all the corners off again. So easy to use this punch. Not much pressure needed and nothing it's brilliant. Perfect. Into my little tin. And I do have, there it is. <laughs> I'm going to use the shaded spruce for this. I'm going to fetch a piece of scrapping from a previous project. Look at me, I'm a mucky pot. Just gonna, I'm not even going to have to stamp all of it. I just want to stamp these beautiful leaves. Isn't that lovely? Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Me decorating the insides. Oh my gosh, that's rare. <laughs> but we've done it. We've covered it in ink, mind. Going on the inside of our card, use a bit of glue, and because we've rounded all the corners, 
It doesn't matter which way we put this in because the pattern is just following round all the way round. Perfect. Just got three more little rhinestones to add and then we're done. Ooh. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> So one in each corner and then I'm just popping one again in the centre. Rough, rough guesstimate. So there is my card. Oh, I love it. I hope you like. It's a little bit dark. This one's a lot paler and then this one is a little bit darker. But I love them. Absolutely adore them. Wonderful set. So. I would love a thumbs up and a share and if you want to press the button down here oops, in this corner it means subscribe and there will be a little bell straight afterwards and if you press that then you'll be notified of all future videos which tends to be on a daily basis with myself just love to push myself that little bit further every day it's my uh, therapy so it keeps me going I hope you give it a go and I hope you enjoy it. I had so much fun making this card with you all. Love you all and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now. Happy crafting.